Hey, it's Dr. Searcy with your video summary for today, September 6th, 2011. Today we continued looking at David Sedaris' essay, Us and Them, and in particular we looked at the essay structure. Now as a way into that discussion, we looked at the quotation for today, which was this, here is David, the narrator, speaking. I attributed the Tomkeys' behavior to the fact that they didn't have a TV, but television didn't teach you everything. Now, this is what David says when the Tomkeys come to the Sedaris house looking for candy the day after Halloween. And as we read the essay out loud in class, one question I asked was, how does Sedaris organize his investigation of this cultural practice of TV watching. That is, how does he set up this final confrontation with the Tomkeys? What we discovered is that the essay is broken up into three different parts. The first part establishes that TV is something everyone does, but that the narrator uses TV as a way to excuse the fact that he doesn't make friends. So he's grown accustomed to, me, to remaining emotionally distant and television helps him do that. When he hears that the Tomkeys don't believe in television, he sees them as an outsider, somebody that he can watch just like they're a television show. In the second part of the essay, he tries to identify with them. He tries to think through why they believe the way they do, um, but he still can't bring himself to actually talk with them. And then in the third section, we get an actual confrontation with the Tomkeys, which is hilarious because the narrator's reaction is so silly. What we talked about today was making sure that there was a logical connection between one part of our story and the next. So. As you think through your essay, think about this. Do you define your cultural practice? Is the structure of your essay logical? Does it go from one part to the next in an ordered progression? Please use not only David Sedaris's, but Tanya Barrientos's and my essay as models for how to do that successfully. We'll see you on Thursday with your rough drafts. Bye.